Hey guys, it's Holly here. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today uh, we're heading to Publix. So there are a couple of items, um, some of those more exclusive items that uh, Walmart don't have. These are your like fat-free products um, that are just a little bit too fancy for Walmart. <laughs> so we're gonna head inside. I'm gonna grab the, uh, the things that I literally buy every week uh, and then we'll go through uh, and have a look at all the products uh, and take a look at the macro profile. <music> Alrighty guys, so I am back in the apartment. We have finished collecting all the food from Walmart. I've got all the food from Publix. I've also got another body in the room, uh, if you didn't notice. Sorry, this is my good friend and client, Shelly. So, Shelly, hey. say hi. Hello. <laughs> um, Shelly's actually in town for the week. So, uh, I'm flying to Australia in five days now. I think I leave on Monday. Mm. It's Tuesday today, so yeah. six days. Yeah, it's been really nice. We have this awesome relationship where we just fly <laughs> to each other's state and train for a week and hang out. It's, it's good. Train and So, eat. yeah, I invaded the, like the apartment. Shelly is staying here at our house, so our apartment. Um, so, yeah, I thought that it would be cool to have her come and hang out and I think get a bit of feedback from you and mm. your perspective as somebody that hasn't really done flexible dieting for very long. So... Mm. Maybe, like, do you want to share a little bit of your story, like where you've come from um, and how, you know, flexible dieting has perhaps helped you in ways? Yeah. Um, first of all, I was one, not one to ever be able to follow any sort of meal plan. Yeah. If I was restricted, if you told me I couldn't have something, that's, then that's, all you'd that's want. when I would want it. Yeah. And so I had gotten to a point in my, my own fitness where I needed to... Um, do something different if I was going to really change my body and it was definitely my nutrition that I needed to change and so that's when I first contacted Holly yeah and so we started a diet process but I only knew I come from a background of having just trying to eat everything is healthy. natural healthy stay away from anything with artificial sweeteners heaven forbid I'd heard a a story about artificial sweeteners probably 20 years ago and that just really stuck with me. Yeah. <laughs> and so until I met you, I I didn't I was very my my menu was very Limited. small, very limited, especially if I was trying to eat healthy. Yeah. And uh, so you must have been like, what is this woman on about when I'm just giving you some numbers? I'm like, eat what you want. Eat just what hit you the want. Numbers. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So today, um, as you guys know, I, I kind of wanted to share with you some of my little treat foods and things that I try to include to make my diet more enjoyable. Um, you know, I compete a lot and trying to stick to a rigid structured meal plan just isn't going to work for me. I'm a foodie. I love all kinds of food. There's probably one food I don't like and that's alfalfa sprouts. And <laughs> but anything else, like I'll probably eat it. Let's be real. <laughs> I think you're a bit of a, you know, you have a, a, a good palate and you enjoy a variety of different foods. Yes. So, um, yeah, we're going to go through all the the options and I guess Shelly, if there's anything here that you use often, there okay. probably are a few things that you incorporate into your diet. Yeah. I'll talk about it and I'm going to dive right in to the dairy because I think dairy foods um that is kind of the area of food manufacturing that is just surpassing Australians. So, mm. I honestly if I if there's an investor out there, <laughs> Dairy, I'm, I'll, I'll organize it for you guys. I just need to set it up because there's so few um, you know, low-fat or fat-free dairy products mm. back in Australia. So I'm going to go through my favorites here in USA uh, for the Australians to take note. Let's get stuck into it. Um, pick a product. Which one do you want to go with first? Probably the first one that I had never even considered trying was um, fat-free cheese. So guys, craft. <laughs> Do fat free cheese, it's shredded. So they have uh, this one's mozzarella, uh, but they also have this in a cheddar, cheddar as well. So I guess if you're a cheese person, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm a bit of a cheese snob, but I like um, I'm not fussy, I'll eat all cheese, let's be real. I really enjoy cheese, but how do you think that this kind of stacks up to like a regular mozzarella cheese? Um, well, it's not regular cheese for sure, it's not as stringy it doesn't melt quite as well but I def and definitely when I used it and it didn't feel like I was missing out 
Yeah. I was able to have pizza. I was put it put it on top of my omelets. Yeah. Yeah. It's really versatile. So yeah, pizza, it melts really well. That's yeah. one of the great things. It still has that like nice stringy, mm -hmm. stretchy um, consistency. So yeah, zero grams of fat, guys. Uh, two grams of carbs and nine grams of protein. So when I'm dieting, like this makes this is a really good uh, source of protein. If I end up making a pizza um, mm -hmm. on one of the breads that I'm about to show you, like I have a hard time getting my protein low because yeah. there is so much protein going around. You know, the wraps are really high in protein. This is high protein. Then you know you're adding in other probably you know protein sources as well. So mm -hmm. this is one of my favorite products. I use it for everything. And um, if we're going to start with cheese. I'm just going to have to get off my on, onto my knees here and look at these products. Another one that I have recently discovered is uh, this Borden fat-free singles. So it's kind of a processed cheese, but again, for the purposes of why I use it, um, it's usually going to be melted. I'm not having this, um, you know, as a sliced ham and cheese sandwich. It's, it's going in like a waffle with, mm. you know, bacon, cheese, or I'm mixing it through a pasta to kind of get that nice like mac and cheese, you know, consistency. And again, it's, it's fat free, zero grams of fat, three grams of carbohydrate and four grams of protein. So again, it's a really good protein source. Um, and yeah, I, I really fallen in love with this product. So this is, this one is available specific from, specifically from Publix. Um, but the mozzarella craft cheese is available at Publix and it's available at Walmart. Another cheese product mm. is, have you tried this? this I have not. Free, this is fat free <laughs> feta. So mm. like, again, I'm a cheesy, uh, fat free feta cheese. Um, zero grams of fat, one gram of carbs, seven grams of protein for a 30 gram or 28 gram serving. So one ounce serve. And how does that stack up compared to? Um, it, I mean, I like my feta cheese when it's like in oil and like all of the seasonings and you know mixed herbs i guess but you know if i'm putting it on a pizza yeah. like and i'm having it with you know pairing it with olives or something else that you would have cheese with i think it's great sprinkled over a salad excellent so another top tip uh, this is available at both walmart and Publix. very accessible other cheeses you want to pass over the ricotta and the uh yeah have you tried this? I have. I have because you had put that on my, when the so, very first week you gave me a menu. Yeah. And you had ricotta on my eggs and I thought you were crazy. <laughs> so tell so me about good. that. She thought I was crazy. <laughs> so now it's one of my favorite ones Yeah. So I've got, uh, this. the brand is Galbani. Um, maybe it's pronounced Jalbani. I'm not too sure, but uh, it's a US based product. The fat free version is only available mm -hmm. at Publix and perhaps more of your specialty grocery stores. I haven't yet seen this at Walmart, but they have a, a close runner up, I guess, which is like a part skim, which is what this... This particular product is actually, I couldn't find the fat free one today because I was at a smaller supermarket. But um, generally, for a 62 gram serve of this ricotta cheese, which I have with like smashed avocado mm -hmm. on po um, you know, poached eggs on toast, all of my cheesecake recipes in my recipe guides, so all three books use this a lot for cheesecakes. Um, it has zero grams of fat, generally six grams of carbohydrates and six grams of protein for the fat-free version. I mean, it's got a great consistency. I use it in my baking. If I'm making like, I don't know, shepherd's pie or anything that has like a nice cheesy top, lasagna, like stuffed cannelloni, like there are so many Italian dishes where I use this. So um, it certainly made my diet that much easier when I'm competing because I can still eat cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I can have a chocolate cheesecake using this stuff. Again, all the recipes are in my book. Um, but it's just not something you can get uh, in Australia for quite so little um, macros. Another one, or a favorite, and I think everybody knows about this one. Do you like this one? I do. <laughs> do you want to read the macros out? Uh, so, zero fat, Maybe. five carb. 18 protein. Yeah, so that's for a 227 gram serve. So Farge is exclusive to USA. Uh, it's so thick and creamy. Mm, it um, uh, the closest comparable to uh, Australia is probably Chobani. Yeah. And like, I don't know, unless it's like close to frozen, when you tip it, it's just like, I don't know, runny liquid so the fact that they got the consistency right is really important and this can double as like frosting on like cupcakes um, I add a bunch of different flavorings like peanut butter powder 
cocoa powder, any of those kind of novel yeah. flavored products that you can get online mix really well with this. And I also, again, use it in my cheesecakes kind of as a filler or mix it in all of my baked goods. Yogurt works very well to kind of add volume, adds protein, uh, but very low calories. So, um, I found yeah. it great as a substitute for sour cream too. And there you go. Substitute yeah. a sour cream. Yeah. yeah and I have not missed the fat. No. In this at all? No. no. Mm-mm. Yeah, I guess no, it's, uh, it's been. I can't tell you the last time I ate yeah. a regular yogurt. I mm-hmm. haven't needed to. Like this is just really great. I add sweetener to it sometimes mm-hmm. as well for something extra yeah. sweet. Now on that note, um, sour cream. There you go. <laughs> sour cream. Okay, this is public exclusive. I can't get this at Walmart. It's not, uh, this is the only one that I found that is fat free. Um, but again, depending on where you're located in the USA, um, there's probably an equivalent. What's the nice luxury grocery store in Texas? That's where Shelly is. Uh, they have H-E-B, uh, which is real popular. Heb. Yeah, Heb. Okay. Heb. <laughs> um, gosh, well, I'm from a smaller town, and so yeah. we don't have much. But Okay, well, so H-E-B <laughs> is an equivalent, yes. I guess, on the East Coast for a night, like a more, um, I guess, exclusive, yeah. you know, better service. Um, but anyway, um, Publix, they, this is zero grams of fat for this sour cream, uh, five grams of carbohydrate, one gram of protein. Uh, you know, we make jacket potatoes. I think you guys call them, what do they call it? A baked potato? Baked potatoes. Yeah, yeah. we call it potatoes in the jackets <laughs> in Australia. Um, you know, what else do you use sour cream for? Nachos, oh, yeah, Mexican, Mexican food. food. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. you can really get the calories down on Mexican food if you're using fat-free cheeses, mm. fat-free sour creams, and then you've just got like your salsa, your mm. veggies and your protein sauce. Yep. And then the wraps that I'm about to show you. Like, you can really make that low calorie too, which is awesome. Finishing up on the dairy department, we'll talk about uh, these jars of Tostito mm. real cheese. So they're actually, I guess they sell them as like a dip. So you would dip your corn chips into here for parties and things. But I've actually found these to be really valuable when I make like mac and cheese. Mm. I guess if I want a runnier consistency, if I'm putting it over like baked potatoes, mm. Um, I put them on nachos as well to have that really nice stringy cheese. Um, yeah, baked, I guess baked bacon and potato, like mixture, that kind of thing. But anyway, um, this is 40 calories for a 30 gram serve, two and a half grams of fat, five grams of carbs, uh, obviously non-protein containing or very low, but the flavor in these is just exceptional. It's like big punchy flavor. Mm. It's like drizzle, like easy to drizzle, um, and goes a little goes a long way uh, when you're when you're cooking. So I'll put this on like a, if I'm making homemade burgers, um, I'll have like my beef patty. I'll smear some of this nice delicious cheese over the top. Um, it's very universal, and there's a couple of different flavors. So this is Tostitos. Is that how you say that? Tostitos? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Again, I'm so new to all these <laughs> foods. I'm just winging it. And then this other brand, which is available across many different um, stores, which is Fritos. Yeah. Same macro profile. Again, it's a cheddar flavor. Um, just exceptional. Yeah. I jalapeno could have eaten cheddar. <laughs> jalapeno flavor, regular cheddar. That is another really good um, product if you are dieting and you don't want to miss out on all those delicious flavors. There is one product in here that is quite unique to Trader Joe's, uh, and this is a guacamole. I nearly died when I read this uh, label because it's just really good. So avocado <laughs> is the primary yeah. you know, food in a guacamole. Um, so it's very high in fats traditionally, but this one for a 30 gram serve, two grams of fat, uh, two grams of carb, a gram of protein, obviously you would expect it to be low in protein, but for a guacamole with um, avocado, this is exceptional. Um, I think it's about $4 from Trader Joe's and basically they use a Greek yogurt mm. as a base, so like a tzatziki, I guess, is mm-hmm. what they they kind of found it on. So I think you should try this. Um, I can't wait to try it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't opened it yet. I'm like, let's and go, those. let's go. <laughs> okay, finishing off um, the kind of cold dairy-based desserts. Do you want to bring up the ice creams or do you want to talk about those ice creams? You haven't tried any of these products, have you? I have not tried any of them, no. Okay, well, you can can read it out. Tell us about it. What is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, For one bar, 62 grams, Mm -hmm. uh, 100 calories, three fat, Mm -hmm. 
uh, 15 grams of carbs and 5 grams of protein. Mm -hmm. So this is a butter pecan ice cream mm -hmm. by Yasso and I'm somebody that uh, suffers from IBS, irritable bowel, and uh, a lot of the uh, sweeteners um, tend to play a little bit of trouble <laughs> on my stomach. And many of these, and the other two that I'll show you in a minute, do have um, artificial sweeteners, and it's specifically erythritol. Um, that is one of the uh, sugar substitutes that completely passes through the GI tract undigested and our gut microflora have a field day <laughs> on uh, erythritol uh, and so they should because it makes it all the way down there and that's what causes the gas, that's what causes pain and all those other bad annoying things um, if you are eating a lot of these. Small amounts is okay but the Yasu I do really like because it is not um, sweetened with erythritol, it's more of a, a natural product so there's just it's got less of a big punchy flavor it's more subtle because it's flavored and sweetened naturally um, and you found this at that was at uh, they're available at Walmart and at okay, uh, Publix good. so everybody has a Walmart so <laughs> yeah it, it's so accessible now the flavors are probably going to vary depending <laughs> yeah. on where you go so you might not always be able to get your favorite flavor but it's worth having a look because they're very uh, macro friendly and again like I could have these like until the last day of prep that was mm -hmm. like this was what I was having in peak week for some carbohydrates just to get me through okay. while my calories were low because it wasn't you know, taking up too much of my daily too intake because um, it's 100 calories. So the other two that I wanted to talk about, um, which I don't believe are available in Australia, is Enlighten. So I'm holding up the uh, cookies and cream. Shelly, what have you got there? The movie night. Movie night. So that's like a caramel vanilla mm. swirl. And... These are also uh, very low calorie for a 69 gram serve, 90 calories, um, very low fat, 2.5 grams of fat, 18 carb and 5 grams of protein. I think that one's probably very, yeah, exactly the same macro profile. So just spoiled for choice, really. Um, again, the only reason I uh, prefer these a little less than something like the Yasu is because they are flavored uh, with the sugar alcohol uh, erythritol. Um, so if you are somebody that has a little bit of a sensitive stomach or GI, um, I would advise just having a smaller portion. Don't try and eat the whole container on the first try, <laughs> even though you could because the calories are so good. And then the last one over here, Shelly, have you tried this one? I have not. Ha, oh, she's just haven't tried any of these today. <laughs> so again, another uh, lifesaver product. Um, this is actually a frozen yogurt. So, um, the macro profile is... Do you want to read it out? Uh, it is for 72 grams. It is 90 calories, one fat. One gram of fat. 18 grams of carbs and four protein. Yeah, so this is like, um, well, it's LifeWay frozen kefir. Kefir, I guess you might like to kefir. say. It's a probiotic as well. Um, but it's lactose-free, which is really good for people mm. that do have a lactose sensitivity. Um, and yeah, it's very gentle uh, on the stomach. It's all, um, I guess, natural additives. I really enjoy this. It's more of a tart vanilla flavor. Mm. Um, so it's not like your creamy, like traditional ice cream, but um, I really enjoy this. I put it on waffles, pancakes. Uh, you can just eat it out of the tub. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's another one. And then Ready Whip. Mm, this yeah. is the uh, <laughs> very low calorie whipped cream. So you've got to be careful with this, guys, because there are 37 servings in this, <laughs> this bottle. I mean, uh, <laughs> so yeah, one gram of carb for this. That's it. You know, four calories. It's very, very uh, macro friendly and just kind of great for decorating yes. or just standing at the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you do have to be careful. I think one day I might have had like... 30 grams of carbs because oh, I definitely had like a lot <laughs> so being mindful take the lead you go through this one yeah I when I was looking for um, nice macros to and I just discovered uh, these rice cakes um, my favorite are the white cheddar oh I I've eat, done well <laughs> oh yeah I eat these I make an omelet and then I just Cut my omelet into four, and then I just put top like either side. Yes, that's a good idea. So I haven't good. done that actually. Yeah, I love it. I'm more of a if I was going to use the white cheddar ones, I would be using your fat-free ricotta, mm. maybe tomato, basil, 
um, or maybe one of these cheese products. I would spread some cheese product yeah. on the cheesy one. Yes. All right, there's, you can be really creative with mm-hmm. those. And they're, everybody's tried rice cakes, so that's mm-hmm. not a, a no-brainer, but definitely a staple in yeah. my household. Yes. I think uh, when we went and traveled together, remember when we were in clear water? <laughs> yes. uh, Shelly yes. has like every flavor. <laughs> Damn, chocolate. I was so impressed. There was like at least 10 in our fridge yes. in the cupboard at the yes. apartment. The chocolate was the best. Yeah, there is so many. Yeah. And then, you know, they range from seven grams of carbohydrate for a single uh, rice cake through to about 14 for a single one. Yeah. Um, so very macro friendly and just, you know, so versatile. Um, I tried your tomato basil. You did? Yes. You like that? Very good. Good. Yeah. And I also do Greek yogurt mixed mm. with cocoa powder or peanut butter powder mm-hmm. or like sprinkles. So mm-hmm. I feel like a child. <laughs> yes. Top with some strawberries. Yeah. So again, very, very versatile. <laughs> now that we're moving into the carbohydrates, mm-hmm. the next product that I wanted to show you, um, and I again, I think that this is very unique to USA, is this um, mm. low carbohydrate bread. So uh, this particular brand is Nature's Own. It is sugar-free and there's a big life symbol on there. So if you are searching for a low-carb bread and you've omitted bread because Mm. you thought it was not very good for you, well, bread is generally fine. You just have to track its calories, of course. Um, But for a single slice, 9 grams of carbs, uh, 4 grams of protein. Um, So, you know, pretty pretty hefty amount of protein too. So, I mean, uh, if you've missed out on sandwiches, this would be the brand that I choose. It's pretty low in dietary fiber, but the foods that I eat outside of, you know, the products that you see here are very fibrous. I eat a lot of fresh, wholesome, you know, fresh fruit and vegetables, uh, and that's primarily where I'm getting my fiber. So I actually have a hard time getting my fiber down uh, Mm. because of that. So for me, fiber is not a consideration when I choose my whole grains. Um, because of that so yeah. and this is a regular size too yeah it's not, it's not a tiny mini. baby slice yeah. it's a regular slice so yeah. that um, is definitely uh, a winner all right so I have just <laughs> uh, waddled over I was my legs were falling asleep um, this particular brand uh, is Thomas they are the hundred calorie um, light multi-grain English muffins mm. Out of all of the English muffins um, that were available in both Publix and Walmart, and these are available at Walmart, guys, uh, these have the best or the lowest calorie range. So for a single um, English muffin, one gram of fat, which is just Mm. awesome, uh, 26 grams of carbohydrate, and eight grams of that is fiber. So, you know, big hitting for the uh, the dietary fiber. Uh, If you are somebody that struggles to, to hit your daily fiber requirements, Um, And they toast up really nicely. I mean, breakfast, you know, um, English muffins and eggs, Mm. sandwiches, like sausage, (laughs) bacon, cheese, egg, all the good (laughs) stuff. So, uh, and then great for sweet things too. Okay, moving on to another low carb um, pita bread. Tell us about these, Shelley, because you have recently introduced those. Yeah, Uh, we were at the beach and Holly made us dinner and she made these amazing pizzas out of this. They were really good Mm -hmm. using the products that we have here probably everything that's on this or not everything but what was on there you could find on this table yes for sure very good so the macros on these and again i can't find an equivalent in australia but i mean i'm yet to go to the grocery store and i'm very excited to see this but Shelly, read out the macros for these ones yeah for one pita uh, 37 grams it's one and a half grams of fat uh nine grams of carbs six protein um, of the carbs, there's two fibers, Fiber. mm-hmm. yeah, and total of 60 calories. Yeah, so for 60 calories, like this is awesome. Like I will have at least three of these, just like <laughs> a, a different flavored pizza, and you know you can make be pretty creative with them. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of low calorie toppings. Uh, one of which is these mm. uh, low fat, 70% fat or less fat uh, pepperonis. So. Again, this is a novel product that I had never seen when I moved over here. And uh, there's 9 grams of protein, 4 grams of fat, no carbs obviously, Mm. 70 calories for a serving of this pepperoni. Um, So you really just feel spoiled. Um, I I love this on pizza. Mm -hmm. Um, And then of course you can do all of your other favorite toppings, chicken, barbecue, pepperoni is pretty popular here in the USA. (laughs) Other meat products, we've got... 
this al fresco originally uncured bacon so uh, it's kind of pre-cooked already just heat it's 1.5 grams of fat one gram of carb four grams of protein for two slices so again very versatile uh, mixing this through potatoes through your grits Australians, if you're wondering what grits are, it's basically like oat bran, but you can make it savory with butter and chives and all the good, <laughs> all the good things. I've never heard of these combinations of food, but now I'm like obsessed. So yeah, I mean, very versatile. You can use this for anything for brekkie. And then an equivalent would be uh, this butterball turkey bacon. So um, again, two grams of fat, no carbohydrates. It's a little bit lower in protein, so two grams of protein. Um, but as a bacon substitute and like the slices are thick and, uh, you know, considerably less, um, fat than, uh, a regular, you know, middle cut, center cut bacon, which is probably around seven or eight for a single slice. So something else quick and easy mm. convenience. I'm all about convenience. So, um, meal prepping has definitely taken uh, a big portion of my time as a competitor. Um, but sometimes I just don't have time to do it. So cooking up tenderloins, chicken, it just, it's time consuming. So this is a pre, um, pre-made, pre-cooked um, chicken breast, two grams of fat, one gram of carb, 15 grams of protein. It's just resealable bag, it's grab it and go. Mm. I'm always known for just <laughs> taking pieces out of here and just eating it on the run. So that's a very uh, unique product, which I found very helpful um, just to throw on salads top your pizzas, mm. put into pastas, whatever it might be. So um, Purdue is the brand here. So I just recently had these when you were at my house. Yeah. Um, before that, I was just doing the egg whites. Yeah. So these give you more of the the look. Uh, I didn't really notice a whole lot of difference in taste. No. Did you? So just, uh, just I, so many people, like in all of my recipe books, I'll put like egg substitute or mm. egg beater and they're like, what is that? And I'm like, oh, that's right. <laughs> Australians only have egg whites in a, mm. in a can like this. So this, like Shelly said, it kind of mimics the color of an actual egg being beaten, <laughs> hence its name, egg beaters. <laughs> um, but the macro, like it's fat free, zero grams of fat. Yeah. Uh, is it five grams of protein, yeah. under a gram of carbohydrate, and you just use it as you would like an egg. Mm -hmm. So baking purposes, savory purposes, you just, use it like a regular egg which is really cool i have not tried this but i can i you've told me about your macaroni and cheese mm -hmm. so what is the and name of this product <laughs> it is anthony's cheddar cheese powder mm -hmm. and uh, for 14 grams it has four fat four carb mm -hmm. four protein mm -hmm. so even split with the macros um a little goes a long way now this product is something that i order online uh, I have not seen it in regular grocery stores, but very, you know, Amazon has it. It's in my cart on Amazon right now. Amazon, <laughs> there you go, available from Amazon. Uh, I have had this for a long time. I don't have to use very much um, for it to, you know, add a big hitting flavor. So Shelly was just saying, I must have talked about a um, cheesy baked potato. Yeah. Um, and I probably need, like, for a single serving, 7 to 10 grams. So under, you know, it would be 3 grams of fat or less. Um, and just provides a lot of taste. But, I mean, usually I would pair, like, this with this or with regular cheese to kind of just blend that, um, that flavor and the texture um, to come up with a really nice product. So... Yeah, Anthony's cheddar powder, guys. If you're not using that, that's another go-to for contest prep when you want something cheesy. <laughs> uh, these are a product that I am excited to work into my diet this time. I did not know about them when I did my diet last time. Or mm -hmm. actually, I knew about them. But, you were but I was very skeptical. I think a lot of people are. So <laughs> there is an equivalent in Australia, yeah. which I'm keen to share with you guys. But this one is a um, miracle. Yes, miracle noodle. And I think I tried these well into my reverse yeah. just because they were in my cabinet. Yeah. And out of curiosity, I think I didn't have rice. Maybe is what it was. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I'll try these. But honestly, they're really good and they take on the flavor of the food that you're cooking. So I will be using these on the regular. Yeah. So guys, um, Miracle, uh, I work closely with these people. Um, they have so many products. In fact, I'll drop the description. I have a link for the product um, in my description below, so you can go and check that out. Um, if you ever eat pasta, if you ever eat rice, 
Um, if you ever eat like Thai foods that use like noodles, um, we had a red yeah. curry last night yeah. with the fettuccine, um, so a thick noodle through yeah. them. It is almost oh, yeah. the same, um, except that the macros are like under three grams of carbs for that yeah. entire packet, which is just awesome. So very filling. Mm-hmm. It's uh, a fibrous product. Um, the shirataki is actually based, it was I think originally grown in Japan um, and it's kind of just exploded from from there. It's very versatile. You can use that for everything and these set you back I think maybe like two dollars for a pack. Walmart had a similar uh, version if you are a Walmart shopper mm-hmm. which is called Pasta Zero. I don't have any to show you but Walmart have a product called Pasta Zero. Uh, which replicate your spaghetti. So I'm probably going to have some bolognese mm. for dinner tonight or some meatballs, <laughs> and I will use these products. So I also got these on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, you did too. And did. Amazon, so available <laughs> online, right? Yeah. And to wrap us up, yeah. to wrap things up, um, dressings. Guys, I think um, traditionally, and I never realized mm. this uh, until I started eating out in America where they display the calories on a menu. Mm. Um, a salad is assumed to be healthy right. or in my brain that registers as low calorie <laughs> to me. So, um, unfortunately, uh, all that good salad and the good fibrous mm. nutrient rich foods that you're eating can often be masked, um, with a hefty, calorie load from you know a thick rich mayonnaise or some kind of uh, oil-based dressing so you do have to be mindful of dressings if you were somebody that is watching your calories and it can really like make what was a low calorie meal very mm. calorie dense right mm. yeah um have you tried any of the skinny girl i have not i have not this is so fun. I, I know. Wait. I'm just going to give this all to you to go back home. You can try it all. So Shelly's actually like 35 or 36 weeks into her reverse diet, and yeah. she is killing her reverse. What? How many calories are you, you on? I now? am close to 2,600. Close. So this is a five yeah. foot four little gal. <laughs> She's uh, on 2,600 calories right now. Yes. So you don't even need this. You can Not yet, but I will in a few weeks. Yeah, so <laughs> she's going to start prepping for her first show uh, in a few months. So... You don't need these, but for all of those that are still recovering from their last diet, <laughs> uh, Skinny Girl. Um, they have a great range. There's probably about seven different products. Um, most of them range from zero to maybe three grams at most fat. Uh, the carbohydrates for this particular product and this one are two or three grams of fat for the poppy seed. This one's zero. Zero grams of fat. Yeah, yep, that's excellent. Carbs, two to three grams. Three. And then protein, usually zero for a dressing. So... Um, Lifesaver. I think I get flavor fatigue quite a bit. I mm. think Shelly, you probably do too. I see in your pantry, <laughs> you got every flavor of everything. If you like it, you're like me. So, yeah, I mean, um, they have so many different options, very low calorie. So, you just get to have a little bit more joy back in your life when you have, um, you know, this flexibility. Mm -hmm. So, all right, there you have it, guys. That's all of the US foods uh, and products that I use on a regular basis when I'm competing and dieting. Uh, I'm sorry, Shelly, I'm going to have to leave you. I am about to go to Australia, but you guys, you should follow me. Let's go. Mm.